Hello everyone, welcome back to Radical Toys. Welcome back to another live stream, gaming stream. So we're back with Ghostbusters the video game on PlayStation 3. Let's play part 4. So this is going to be hopefully the final stream that we do. Hopefully it doesn't take any longer than 2 hours to get through this one this time. Uh, we've been playing this for, what, a total of probably about six hours, so we've had three streams, about two hours each, roughly, so it is a fairly longer game, but it is a good one. So we're going to go ahead and play this. Uh, first, what we're going to do, though, is we need to bring up the chat on my phone device, and we'll drop some links here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started and have some fun. And I know YouTube will probably want to demonetize it, but that's fine. The idea is just to have fun with it and to, uh, you know, just kind of bring some extra crowds into the gaming scene here. So it's kind of be fun. Uh, let's see here. There is my live. Turn down the volume before you guys start hearing an echo. And people will start coming in here shortly. I'm just going to go ahead and share this out. We'll copy the link, and we'll get it out to a few people. And we should be good to go. And there we have it. We're good. We're good. That's all good. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started. There is Toy Mama. She's in the house, so give a wave. I'll probably have to bring out the No Ghost Logo puppet in a few moments as soon as people start dropping in. But for the moment, it will be okay. It will make them disappear here. Uh, okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and get started. I got the audio down just a little bit lower than usual just to see whether or not uh, YouTube can catch it. Because <laughs> they've been catching it every time. Uh, they don't like the Ray Parker Jr. song. They absolutely, you know, that's copyrighted, so... Uh, we can't have that song playing, so if they do, they demonetize it, and then I have to go back and edit the music out, so it is what it is. be interesting to see what they're going to do with the wrestling stuff, because every wrestler has a video game intro, so we'll see what happens with that when we stream with that one on Sunday. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started, see if I can remember how to play. So we're at the graveyard. And we already have a um, an artifact ready to go. And signal's getting strong here. Oh, now it's getting weak, so I don't know if it's over this way or not. Let's find out. Aha! There it is. I had a feeling it was on the other side of that wall. We'll scan it up and grab it. Oh man, I'm so not used to the controls again. <laughs> I'm, I'm like playing three games on the fly here. I played my uh, typical Mortal Kombat 1. And since the new season dropped, playing this and trying to learn the WWE 2K14 controls. Too much going on on the brain for video games. Oh, there we go. And we've got Largo's Lair. Hey, welcome in. Good to see you. How you been? I see you've been doing pretty good with your channel lately. Great to see you guys. I kind of just dropped the live stream a little late and stuff, so I didn't get any notifications out, so people will be dropping in probably shortly as they come along. How you been, Largo? Uh, how's the, uh, the figure collecting going? What have you been uh, collecting lately? You still getting uh, the action force stuff, or? Uh, 
Uh, where am I going? <laughs> I seem to be a little lost. The rookie is uh, definitely being a rookie here. I don't know if it's this way. I kind of lost track of what they were saying. Maybe, it, maybe it's the other way. Hold on. Let's go through this way for a minute. We'll know once we start seeing some ghosts. Maybe it's not this way. Oh, maybe it is. I always had a tricky time with the graveyard. Every time I come back and revisit this place, I tend to get lost here. Interesting sign. That's uh, lighting up when I uh, put the PKA meter on it. Nope. Sounds like maybe we are going the right way. Oh, yes we are, because now the signal from the PK is starting to go. Oh! Looks like we're going down. Uh, let's see, uh, we've got Elizabeth is in the house, good to see you. And let's see, Largo Lair, Largo's Lair says, Still collecting Action Force, but now I'm focusing on Vintage Adventure Team G.I. Joe. Oh, really cool. And there's Manic Plastic Toy Shop. We got Micus in the house. You back at it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was just saying there. Oh, there's Eldor. Welcome in, Eldor. I didn't uh, notice you. Good to see you, buddy. I uh, just noticed, or uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to be the last playthrough. I'm hoping this will be the final two hours of the game. We've done three play sessions. Uh, this is the fourth. And I think we've done about roughly maybe four two hours each so i want to say the game's probably about an eight hour long game to finish we'll find out here it's been a moment since i revisited this game so i can't quite remember but this might be one of the final stages that this game has if not the final stage i can't remember i seem to revisit these games like once a year and i always forget Which is not a bad thing, I don't think, because uh, I like going back in, uh, you know, revisiting these games later on, and it feels fresh again. Gotta blast down these trees, I guess. Better put the PKE meter on because it's the only way I can see anything. There, we can get some dark scenes yeah, in here. We don't want to stand here all day. If I wasn't accustomed to playing video games, I would have a very hard time struggling with this right now. I can see how this can confuse people. Uh oh, what's in front of me here? I can't move. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, we got Radical Mamas in the house. She just dropped in to see you. I figured you would pop in eventually. So it looks like we're inside a tombstone, but like one of those, uh, what do they call those gravestone house things that you, when you go into them, they have a bunch of graves in them. I don't know the proper name to it. I don't know if they just call it a... No, they wouldn't call it a cemetery. They call it something else within a cemetery, right? Open the gate, it says. Okay. Appropriate for Ghostbusters, though. A lot of the people are saying, including myself, that this is the true sequel to Ghostbusters 2. This is the game they should have, or this is the movie they should have done. I seem to be lost. What's that sign say? Gate control. Hmm. Looks like I gotta do something to this. Oh, maybe I gotta tether it. Is that what I gotta do? Uh, no. 
that's not working. I honestly can't remember what I got to do here. There's no um, real instructions here. How to open up that gate. Maybe there's a switch. Something's vibrating. You know what we need? We need the Book of Tobin's Guide. We need Jeff in here because he would know exactly what to do. He's got to figure in this stuff out. Where me, I just get confused. <laughs> it's been so long since I... Well, I see a... Um, I see a wheel here. I don't think that's going to do anything. Oops. Very confusing. I might actually have to look it up because I don't know what to do. It's probably something very simple underneath my nose that I just don't see. Nothing worse than have to pause your game and have to look up what you're doing. Now, I can't go back because it's it, it, whatever I got to do is in this area. It's got to be something to do with this door. It says gate control. Oops. Start blasting things. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> oh, there's got to be something. Something tells me it's got something to do with the tether. But I just don't know. Doesn't quite like getting stuck. What's that thing over there? Nope. Thought maybe it blast that door or something, but it doesn't seem to work either. I may have to look this up. See, Mike says, shoot the lights out. Maybe that does something. I don't think so, Mike. Um, I'll try it, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the tether, and I just don't know. I put the PKA meter on it, and it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm going to look it up real quickly, because I'm lost. Let's take a quick peek on YouTube for a minute. I know you guys can't see it. I'm actually doing it on my phone device. Let's see. Ghostbusters. The video game. This is really sad that I have to do this. The video game uh, Graveyard. Central Park. That's where we're at. Ah, the first comment I read. Hated the part with the gate. That was really frustrating. There's so many enemies and they come from all directions. Got stuck there for quite a while until I managed to do it. It says you need to find a way to open the gate from, uh, from a different place inside the cemetery. Let me see here. What does the guy do? I'm not really sure. Because it looks like he's like... Nowhere near I am. I can't leave this area though. That's the thing. I can't go anywhere else. It doesn't allow me to, like, exit anywhere else. I can't go through the gate. I'm literally stuck here. And I know Slime Tether does have something to do with this. I just don't know what.
Nope. Hmm. No, sir. They say use the slime colors. See, so he's in the tunnel here. I don't know. Well, this sucks. Was not expecting to get stuck in this game. I don't know. We need Jeff. Where's our boy Jeff when we need him? <laughs> How to open the gate. I can't even get over there. I don't know how to get over there. Every time I see somebody play this, it's like they're already they're over there on that side of the gate. And I can't figure out how to get over there. This is not an easy game when it comes to this stage. Heh <laughs> Okay, this guy is actually playing it from the beginning. Hmm. Anyway. I'm just not sure. My controller's vibrating like a son of a gun, though. I'm just kind of watching this guy to see how he does it. So I'm about as confused as can be. First time I really got stuck. Well, actually, I got, this is the second time we got stuck. We got stuck in the, the furnace area. And then Jeff figured it out. He figured out how to get through it. I would have been stuck there for days. I think we're almost there. Hurry up, buddy. I don't want to fast forward the video, because if I do, then I'm like completely lost at what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to just figure it out on my own because I can't follow these videos. It would probably be sit here take forever to do this. I'm just we're just going to have to figure it out as a team. Blow down the door with the proton stream. Try that at least. Okay. There's our Tobin spirit guide, Jeff. It can't be that simple, is it? Not working. Definitely not it. It's something else.
Huh. None of these doors will open. It just says gate control, like that's that's all it says. Uh maybe try one of the other doors. Which way did you come in? Okay, so I came in from this gate right here. This is where I came from. I came out of this gate and the gate closed. And then I was right here. So this is where I came from. So obviously it's not back through that door. It's got to be this door or something else that I'm just not seeing because I'm blind. There's a door here that I can't seem to do anything with. It's probably something so simple, so stupid. But I can't quite figure it out. I don't know why the tether comes to my mind. I remember I first played this. I remember being stuck here. For, like, the longest time. It's doing absolutely nothing. So, clearly, that ain't it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people... I'm sure people uh, paid good money for those headstones. Blast the gate control sign, maybe. Yeah, I tried that too, Eldor. I tried... I blasted everything in here. Like, literally everything. I even tried to blast that door and it doesn't seem to do anything. I know it's something so simple. Like, so silly. Well, it's not doing anything. We're definitely going to be doing more longer than a two-hour stream at this rate if I'm going to be stuck here for the entire time that I live stream. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm out of ideas other than going to watch a YouTube video to figure out what the heck to do. Oh, somebody sent me a photo. Oh, let's see. Christina sent me an Instagram for a walkthrough. So, first gate entrance to cemetery. You have to go a long way around on your own, including a segment underground until you arrive back at the point where you can see Ecto-1. Use the grapple function on your protons, proton stream to slam... A weight down. It's next to the wooden sign. Indicating operating's indicating it operates the gate. Let to let Ecto one through and be joined by Ray. First gate. Second gate. A ghost takes away a stone head key while you're into the catacombs. Okay, I don't think we're there. We're on the first gate. Uh, it says to use the grapple to slam the gate down. Oh, seriously? Is that really what it is? 
Thank you, Christina, or whoever it was with you. Oh, my lord. I can't believe it was that simple. <laughs> See, I knew it was that simple. I just couldn't think. Couldn't think of what it was. Yes, that was Christina, so she's the hero of the hour. She's the true Ghostbuster. So we got it. Props to Christina. She gets the... She's the Ghostbuster of the hour. Alright, so we open up the gate. What do we do now? Oh, this gate opened? Okay. Oh, there's a ghost. Ah! They aren't very happy about us being here. No, they wouldn't be. Yeah, we ain't going that way. Must be this way, Ray. At least I got Ray with me now. I do not like the graveyard. I'm already not liking this board. <laughs> hey, Deanna Rock. Thank you for dropping in, hanging out with us. Yeah, I, I know that. I figured it too. I don't know why I was thinking of the slime tether for some reason. That wasn't it at all. I literally had to grab that weight and slam it down. Uh-oh. Oh, where are these little guys coming from? Make sure I get a scan. We're in my way, Ray. Did we probably we killed what? About fifteen minutes getting stuck there. That was a long 15 minutes, or 10 minutes, whatever it was. Alright. We're gonna throw down a ghost trap here in a second. I'm gonna have to blast these guys first, because they're in my way. Oh, I see what's going on. They're coming through the hole. I gotta get rid of the hole. Until I get rid of the hole, they just keep coming back. There we go. I was wondering where they were coming from. Yeah, hold on, Ray. Kind of in the middle of catcher and ghost here. There he is. He got you, buddy. Did he just say he loved me? <laughs> I think I heard him say that. Oh, here we go. Ray's got a ghost trap. Wonderful. I'll get your ghost trap. Okay, now... Back in business. Oh, there's some black slime. I think we go this way. I almost didn't see that. Let's be down here. 
Yeah, it's 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 uh this is actually the um original version of it, the PlayStation 3 version, and it's still holding up pretty good. And it looks like I've got another artifact to get. I wonder if it's over here. Just give me a sec, folks. Signal is starting to get a little bit a little bit strong here. Now, it must be on the other side of the wall. I don't see it here. Try down here. But yeah, it's um, it's the original PlayStation 3 version, which is only 720p. Uh, but it's still a pretty good... It, it's held up pretty good. They've re-released this game quite a few times, too. I think you can get it now on the PlayStation 4. You might even be able to get it on the PS5. I'm not sure. I know you can get it on PS4. I know they remastered it. See, I can see the signal for the artifact, but I can't seem to find it. Maybe it's on the other side somewhere. We'll just continue along. After being stuck for like 15 minutes, I really don't feel like hunting that thing down. Gerald G. Galth? Is that what that says? And here we go. Gotta get a scan. There we go. Hey, Ray, there's things coming at you here. Oh, there's gotta be another portal thing that I gotta slime because the uh, little guys are coming out. See if I can find them. Yeah, because these guys are going to be relentless. These little guys. Stand clear, stand clear. There it is. There, we got it. That takes care of that. Hopefully it was just the one. Oh, you got me. Come get me, Ray. Pick me up. Oh, don't bug on me. Now is not the time to bug. Now is not the time to glitch. There we go. This guy's got a lot of strength. Trying to capture this guy. There, we got him. Got him in the stream. Let's get down a trap. In you go. What's that saying that they say in the Ghostbusters 2 movie? They be fast, we be slow, but there was a thing that they said before that. When they were capturing the, um, the two jailer ghosts. Jeez, do you have to have like 50 traps down, Ray? You only need one. In you go. You think? I swear he's saying um, I love you, but I think he's just saying above you. I'm pretty sure there's a guy over here. There he is. Oh, yeah, move away now. Now you move away. Make me chase you. <laughs> this is great. This The graphics on this are pretty good, though. It's, it's held up really nicely. Considering it's a 2009 game. Oh, too late. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or not. I could be going completely backwards and not know it. I probably am. 
Considering I don't see Ray anywhere, I think he's way back there. Oh, we have an artifact, though, somewhere around here. There it is. Look at that. Ghostbusters mug and balloon. <laughs> oh, that's a nod to the merchandise from the first film. I see what they were doing there. Because that's what it was. It was balloons and mugs that they were selling to promote the uh, when they first turned into Ghostbusters. That's funny. All right, so we're going to go back, I guess. I guess I was going the wrong way, but we got an artifact out of the deal, so it wasn't a total waste. I think we're supposed to head towards the beam, not away from the beam, rookie. Okay, so he's definitely shooting something down here. There's the ghost. There he is. Okay, we got him. We got him. Throw a trap. Uh, oh, he got out. You punk. In you go. Slam dunk. Alright, is that it, Ray? Or is there any more? We'll follow Ray. He seems to know where he's going. <laughs> no, I am lost, ain't I? It's the graveyard. It's so confusing. I get so confused in here. Oh. It was on my left. I think I just threw a trap out by accident. Let's pick that back up. Put the PKA meter on for now. Where did Ray go? Oh, there he is. Find a way through the crypts. Oh, great. Is this another maze? Oh, it's all me, is it? So it is a maze. Uh, straight or to the right? <laughs> Which way to go? Go to straight first, I guess. And wouldn't you have it? It's a dead end. Because, you know, I always pick the wrong way. You're going the wrong way! <laughs> that movie planes trains and automobiles you're going the wrong way i don't think you can blast these things down seems to be uh, a scripted way to go for this part which is fine by me because i don't like getting lost here we go cutscene. oh Okay, I know what we gotta do. This is the second gate. Recover the key to open the crypt door. So we need to get that back. That the ghost just stole. Open up the gate. Okay. Whoa! We need to get a scan of this guy. There we go. We got a scan. I love how the controller is vibrating. Like everything's shaking. Very impressive. I know. I impress myself sometimes. Okay, we're getting a reading on the PKE meter. Uh, so there seems to be a left and a straight. The signal is coming down this way. Whoa! Where'd he go? Right. Oh. Check your 
You gotta ray you gotta move, Ray, you can't shoot him. There we go. Okay, so what was I doing? Was I gonna go this way or that way? The signal's coming for this way, but there might be an artifact down here, so let's just go check quickly. You never know. There's no blue. No, I think this just goes in a circle. Yeah, no, that's the wrong way. Okay. We'll go back the other way. Should be down here. Oh. Oh, sorry, Ray. Didn't mean to shoot you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring out what he's using because that seems to be the weapon to use. Ah! Oh. Oh, yeah, you hit them with one hit and they die. That's way easier. You should really pay attention to the weapons that Ray uses. And let's see what you guys are saying for a minute. John Candy, you're going the wrong way. He's drunk. What do you think you know? Yeah, all the dead bodies coming out at me, I know, right? Ah! They're possessed. Solid, Leave those dead bodies alone. How rude. It's too heavy to carry and oh, it's Get the instrument. The okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. You literally gotta carry it, I think, with the with the uh, proton stream. I think. Yep. <laughs> this is so weird. Now, what I don't remember is which way do we go to get back to the gate? Is it this way? Uh-oh, must be. Graveyard monster. Oh, this is going to be fun. Photon darts. Good idea, Ray. still alive what the heck all right he's dead we're good we're good now we don't want that we want this Uh, which way was it, guys? Does anybody remember? Was it this way? That goes in a circle, so it must be down this way. Yeah, here it is. We got it. Thank heavens I didn't get lost that time. <laughs> I, I tend to get lost a lot. Wait a minute. Yeah, don't shoot his partner. I get it now. Yes, don't forget to hit the like button too, guys. If you haven't done it yet. Now it's raining. And thundering lightning out. It says, find the other Ghostbusters. Alright. Well, looks like I'm going to take it on lead.
I'm always going the wrong way, aren't I? Open up a path. Well, this is interesting. It looks like I'm just going in circles here. Indeed, I am. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, we've got an artifact. Getting a signal here. Down this way. Signal is strong over here. Maybe I go this way. There it is. Cursed artifact, a strange black fruited tree. All right. Get rid of all these trees that are just kind of distracting me. Where are we going, Ray? I ain't got a clue. Oh, black slime. We're on the right direction, at least. Oh, here we are. Gotta get a scan first. Let me get a scan. Or not. Gotcha. Ghost trap. And we got him. Behind me. I think this is, is this where I came from? 
Maybe not. We're getting a signal down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, great. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, son of a gun. Get a scan of them. At least we know we're going the right way, right? Come where? Oh, okay. Switch back to the blue gun for the moment. The blue stream. Following Ray. We got some signals down here. Signals coming like this way. Huh. Make sure I get everything out of my way. Okay, well, it's definitely not down here. Okay, you keep leading me down here, but I'm not seeing anything. We're close. I think we're officially stuck again. I might have to look this one up again, because, uh, I don't know. Do I use the tethers to break down the wall or something? This is where the signal's coming from. Let me see what it says. I'll take a... Take a breather for a minute. Uh, see what you guys are saying, too. Burn it down! That's right! Careful there, sir. Social Cemetery will be sending you the bill there. Yeah, that's would be a big bill. Let me just look at the, the instructions thing again. Okay, so we did the first gate. The second gate was Ghost Takes Away the Stone Head. We did that one. Third gate says, um... Barley, a pit stop. You are with Ray and Ecto-1 is stuck again. Blast a pile of skulls to your right. And a weight wall and Mackley pull down the opening gate. I don't know if we did that part or not. Uh, fourth gate says, Stone Angel Gate. The toughest one for most people. You were with Ray with Stone Angel showing up shooting 
at you and there are three faces on the gate. No, we're not that far yet, so we must be third gate. You're with you're with Ray and Ecto one. Well, I'm not with Ray and Ecto. I'm not with Ecto one yet. So we're somewhere just before that. Huh. There's got to be just something I'm not seeing. There's a, it's always something like underneath my nose that I'm just not, you know. Yeah, I know you want me to equip the PKA meter, but it's not doing me any good. Oh, jeez! I'd say take good, take care of the big guy first, and the little small fry here. If he's getting in my way, there he's done. I evaporated him. Oh, we got another big guy. This is great. Okay, he's down. Oh, here we go. We got our first ghost. Throw the trap. Holy frig, three traps or two traps. Get a scan. There we go. In the stream you go. Into the trap. Oh, this is fun. Got him, Ray. All right, lead the way, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they do come out at you. Well, hello there. Great. You guys are right. Oh, there's the Ecto one. Nothing dead in this room. Thanks for joining the party. They're throwing everything they have at us to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. That's as far as I can go. You guys got a clear path for Ray. Readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from the mandala and the escape ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. Okay. Oh, I think it's got something to do with this weight. There's one. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. There we go. That was an easier one. Well, I guess we're going in there. Oh, another tunnel. Total safe. Totally safe. 
Is that someone's, like, grave? Uh, like his casket with a face mask on it? <laughs> now you, you shoot the slime, I'll shoot the uh, tree. Oh, we have an artifact somewhere. There's the signal. Oh. Yeah, there's got to be a slime hole somewhere. Because they keep coming at you. I wanted to get that artifact, but I might have to do this first. Yeah, there was an artifact down here. It's right there, but I can't get it. It's on the other side of the wall. Maybe I can get it by going this way. There's a little guy in here, too. There we go. We got him. And there's the artifact. A learning... A leering skull. Okay. Alright, we made it out of there. Uh oh, black slime. Nope, we get a signal. Here we go. Yo, new guy. We've tried everything. This metal is psychotically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <laughs> well, it's such an extreme situation. I suppose it's possible to cause it, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's out for? Ray, you should check out that side. I think I'm picking up something wrong here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged spring. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. 
Hmm. Uh, ah! Oh. Go kick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, they're little stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. Oh, we gotta tether them into the wall. Okay, I see. Got one. There's two. Three. You think I'm doing Winston? Oh. Ah, pick me up, Ray. Not much longer. Oh, these guys are hard. This is not fun. <laughs> They hit you once or twice and you're down. I can see why people were frustrated with this. There's one. There's two. I think we got one left. Where'd he go? There he is. Now there's two left. He broke my tether. Yeah, my strength is failing too because they keep knocking me on my ears. I'm trying. Oh, my lord. There's a lot of them. Aim high. That's good. Keep me working. Every time I nail one, another one comes at me. Oh, we have an artifact. Somewhere. There's the car. Ah, sweet. That was cool. Oh, we need another one, do we? Let me get on the other side. There it is. Boom. Nicely done. 
All right, back to the chat. My phone closed out on me. Gotta love it. I'm not sure going underground now is a good idea. Come on, Spence. Getting there is the fun part. Must be nice to just sit in the Ecto-1 and watch your friends take care of everything. I know, right? <laughs> Must be nice just to sit in the car and, you know, relax. No stress. It's weird because I'm getting, like, the blue artifact signal this way. Oh. Oh, son of a gun. Uh, containing... Let's see, curse artifact, a jar containing something. Okay. Uh, where'd the guys go? They go this way? Must have went this way, did Oh, there is the car. Open the Molosseum gates. <laughs> there you go, Jeff. Egon's like, some of us have been walking. <laughs> That's funny. That's alright, we can catch the ghost the old-fashioned way. Here comes the little guys. Oh, this is great.
Oh, my lord. Knock me down like a pinata. <laughs> hey, what are we doing, guys? I'm not sure what we're doing here. This is confusing. They're shooting their beams, but it's not really doing anything. Oh, there's still guys down here. What is this? Oh. I just did something. There we go. I did something there. Oh, more guys. I really wish it was pink slime. What's next, dudes? Oh, maybe we're supposed to go down this way? I don't know what we're doing. Seem like it. Oh, maybe we do. I don't know. What's got to be the key? Oh, these stupid guys. Yeah, see, they're going back this way.
Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up and see what it says because I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. I thought it was like a scripted thing where the guys would come out and something would happen. Yeah, green sucks. Go pink. Exactly. All right, let's see. Third gate says you and Ray Ecto one is stuck. Blast a pile of skulls. Okay, so fourth gate, Stone Angel gate, the toughest one for most people. You're with Ray when Stone Angels show up shooting you, and there are three faces on the gate. The guys advise you to use your slime tether on the angel. Got to be fast and shoot it at the faces. The tricky part for a lot of people... I think we did this part already. Need to hit each face twice. It only... I once actually smacked a face open by grappling an angel with a proton stream, but I believe this might be harder to do. Both methods and see what you have success with. Uh, yeah, we're past that part. We're on the next part, so... I'm really not sure what we gotta do. Let me look this up. Graveyard Ghostbusters game. It's definitely by far the hardest stage. Just trying to figure out what the heck you're supposed to do. Because it's not exactly clear. You would think that it would be like straightforward. But it's not. But I know we're, like, really close to the end here. We have to be. Okay, so I'm watching a video where they're at now. And where we're at exactly right now. And he's shooting all the angels. I don't think this part is scripted. I'm not sure. Uh, fighting the golem thing. Oh. Oh. I'm an idiot. Okay, I see. The key is actually on the ground. Um, hold on. You know those uh, big golem things that we destroyed? Well, their horns on their head is the key. So all I gotta do is pick it up. I uh, would have had no idea, right? All right, so let's pick that up. It's got to be on the ground somewhere. There should be a key on the ground. I just don't know where it is. There it is. Here we go. So here's the key. You take the key and you put it inside the wall. There's one. There should have been a second one somewhere that fell down. There it is. So while they're taking the ghosts, I will do the key. There it is. Okay, the door's opening. Here we go. Uh, let's see. At least they aren't weeping angels from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, really, eh? Alright, so we're on our way. Okay, we made it on the inside. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's so mad. No way. It's not. It's Evo Shannon. Shadow, possess the mate. Her hair must slow down. And we'll be shut down with Mandela before we can get fully juiced. 
he hijacked our goals out of the containment unit as an alternate energy source. Very good. And they changed her into slow water. Wait, wh who is this? What's the girl have to do with this? Pain <laughs> are necessary. Consume my own destructive form and require blood. My blood. What about Ghost? I thought you built this all for him. I did, but he failed me. Right. How he earned the time of the destroyer is beyond me. Anyway, I thought to myself, why worship a god? He was naturally the you know what's really funny is he got this right because this game came out before the previous Ghostbusters movie where Gozer failed and Gozer did fail twice. So this game completely predicted it. That is freaking freaky. Okay, we got a scan of him. Okay, eliminate Shandor's protective shell, it says. I think we need to blast these crystal things. Because it seems to be giving him his power. Uh, yeah, 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 I figured it out, Ray, way before you. Come pick me up. As soon as those things open up, I'm going to shoot them. There we go. I destroyed one, so we got to destroy those crystals. As soon as they open. So shooting him is basically pointless. Open up! Open up! Or maybe you gotta shoot him until they open up? I don't know. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. There's two destroyed. I see what to do. I get it, I get it. What do we got, one more? Nope, we got him in the stream. Oh, cutscene. Until we're at the end. Oh, frig! I want to get a scan. There, we got one. Don't let it recharge! 
trying, Ray. Trying, Ray. There we go. Oh! Oh, am I supposed to be shooting these things? That's why. Okay, now I get it. Holy frig, you just wiped the crap out of, like, me and Winston. And friggin' Egon. Or no, Peter. Darn, I was kind of hoping I'd hit that rock before it hit me. Wrong timing. Oh, here we go. I think this is the final boss, Jess, and thank you for dropping in. Ah! <laughs> Jeff, I hope so. <laughs> I'm deactivating the cross stream governor. I never thought I'd say this again. Cross the stream. We've been going for an hour and a half, hour and thirty five minutes. We eat gods for breakfast. Too much, you think? No, I like it. <laughs> I got you. Get me down from here. Please do it, Peggy. Walter Peck's still hanging there. This is not the last you will see of me. Beckerhead. What's that mean? <laughs> Maybe the balls was walking around in your box for a few months. Oh, did anyone notice? Well, how's my approval rating? Well, you got me elected. <laughs> By the way, you are a descendant of Shinra. Yeah, I kind of got that. What? 
climber. All right, that's it. I gotta close the music off because they will they will nail me with that. But that's the game. We finished it, guys. That is cool. So we have Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, Ernie Hudson. It was written by Dan Aykroyd and um, Harold Ramis. All kinds of extra voice talents. That was really. It's a really good game. It begins and ends just like it should. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. I was really in, uh, really impressed with the game. I gotta say, it made me very happy to play that. Uh, let me see if I can grab a... What am I looking for here? Uh... A display capture is it a display capture i can't remember when you want to bring in like a camera nope that ain't it that's gonna look really strange for you guys for a second wrong one video capture device so expand the ghostbusters family on a Basis and oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So get out. But I have to close down the... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and close down the uh, character animator. So that'll get rid of the uh, puppet. And I'm not sure why it's not working. Maybe I got to do it. Did something wrong. Let me just delete that. I like how this game really just captures what the Ghostbusters is all about. There it is. So we'll bring my ugly mug on the screen for a minute and I'll just make it smaller. I knew there was one way to do this. So anyway, that was a really cool, really great game. I don't know. I was very happy with it. I could play that once a year. I enjoyed it so much. I didn't hear her voice in it. She voiced the girl in the game. Uh, who? Oh, oh, Alyssa Milano. Oh, she she played the girl, did she? I didn't know that. Was that Lisa Milano? I thought the the voice was very uh, recognizable. That's the girl from uh, Who's the Boss, right? There we go. OBS uh, Studio uh, disconnected for a second there. Sometimes that happens around the two-hour mark. It'll disconnect on me and then reconnect. But we're back. Yeah, I, I did for a second. The OBS disconnected. Let's see, excuse me, you're not allowed to say that about yourself, sir. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's look her up. I'm curious, because I didn't realize that she did that. Let's, let's Google that for a minute. I had no idea that was her voice. Uh... Let's see, Wikipedia, Alyssa Milano. If I'm saying it right, I'm probably butchering the name. Um, we need to do window capture. Just do this again. OBS likes to be weird. Window capture device. 
Alyssa. There she is. Let's bring her down for a minute. There we go. Um, let's see. What does it say? She was, uh, of course, she was born 1972. She was in Who's the Boss, so that's what I thought. She also played in Melrose Place. Uh, she was Phoebe Hawaii, Hawaii. I don't know how to pronounce that. In Charmed. Billy Cunningham in My Name is Evil. Savannah Davis in Mistresses. I'm just trying to see where it would say anything from the Ghostbusters game, but I don't see anything here. Usually it'd be updated, right? Might be somewhere towards the bottom if I keep reading it. Because it should list everything that she's done. Oh, there it is. On March 20th, 2009, it was announced that Milano voiced Dr. Alyssa Selwyn in the Ghostbusters the video game. Uh, in a 2010 interview, she told the press that she had a blast working on the game, although she recalled it being odd having to grunt in a room alone. <laughs> well, you gotta do the vo the voice, uh, like the, the grunts, and uh, like they do that in like video, like any video game, right? Like say Mortal Kombat, for example. They gotta do the grunts and stuff like that. She's not used to doing stuff like that, that's why. But most of the talented voice actors that do video games know this. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I didn't know that she did the video game. That's really cool. That's uh, that's awesome. Good, good catch. I totally wouldn't have caught that. Oops. That's really cool. And there we are. We're all the way back to the main menu. Let's see. I never made it to the end before to see the full cast. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, I never paid attention to the credits, and I should. And it's funny, because I do now with movies and stuff. I usually pay attention to the credits. But uh, back in 2009, I never bothered. So, it's funny how I... Because the voice did sound familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, she'd be, uh, you know, she'd be somewhere... Probably a little, maybe a little bit older than I would be. Not by much. She'd be a few years older than me. I mean, she was just, what... A kid when she did Who's the Boss, right? Which is funny, because I was thinking about re-watching that show. I was thinking about going back to it. Because I'm, I'm currently watching Family Ties with uh, Michael J. Fox, and I've been kind of watching that show. And I was thinking about Who's the Boss as well. That's really cool. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to turn down the audio because it's kind of driving me crazy. You guys probably don't hear it, but I do. Um, you guys shouldn't hear the audio because I know I turned it off. Just for the copyright reasons of the Ghostbuster stuff. They won't strike me or anything, but what they'll do is they will demonetize it. And then I have to go back into the footage and either trim out the portion of the song... Or mute out the song. Whatever my options are. There's only a couple of options that you can do. You can rebut it, but what's the point? They're copyright holders. They can do what they want. Um, but the plan for uh, Sunday is to do... Um, what I want to do is do some of the... Um, where is it at? The other game. I've got, a, I've got lots of games that I want to do. There it is. 
I want to do the WWE 2K14. That's what we're going to do on Sunday. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. Hopefully it'll be okay. I'll try it and see... Uh, like, I, w I went on 2K's uh, website for copyright and stuff like that to see what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. I did some research, and it did say that they don't mind video gamers doing their streaming, uh, that they actually encourage it. But, uh, you know, that was back, that was back a few years ago, so I don't know if things have changed or not, but, uh, they said as long as you're not, like, you know, selling, selling or, you know, selling t-shirts or whatever, the, you know, basically all that crap, uh, I should be okay with it. We're gonna give it a try. It's an older one, so, like, you know, we're at 2K24 now, this is 2K14, so it's quite a few years old. But uh, it's still really fun. It holds up really well. And I still think it looks good for a PlayStation 3 game. So we're going to do that on Sunday. We're going to go through like the years of WrestleMania. So starting from WrestleMania 1. And we'll probably do it in play sessions as well. As long as you know they don't take my video down. We'll do sessions for it. Um, we'll do like, uh, maybe we'll do like one to five or one to four and then we'll, you know, do part two, part three and so on and so forth. So it starts with Andre the Giant. So WW1, Andre the Giant, and who was the one that he, was it Ted DiBiase that he went up against? I can't remember who it was. Who was it that Andre the Giant fought in WrestleMania 1? You guys would probably know the answer. I can't remember. If John was in here, he would know. He's a huge wrestling fan, so. But that'll be a lot of fun. So that's what we'll do on Sunday. And not only that, but I would like to showcase... Hopefully I should be allowed to do this. Because uh, there's no audio in the background, or in terms of music. Is to showcase some of those promo stuff. I like the promo stuff. Like, I want to show one specific one for Macho Man. And maybe we can do, like, a commercial. Um... The Slim Jim commercials, they were really fun. I'd like to maybe show one of those. And just see how it goes. And, you know, if they take the video down, they take the video down. If they don't, then we'll continue it. Uh, it's going to be one of those trial and error things, because you don't really know until you until you try it and see what happens. Uh, I don't really understand how some of these gamers are getting away with, uh, like, uh, like, like, for example, when I first started doing the streaming of this game, uh, they copyrighted it. No strikes or anything like that. They just copyright it and they make you do the trimming and stuff like I was telling you guys. So how are all these other gamers doing this? How are they live streaming and how are they making offline videos of their games? Because the audios are in there. I'm like research and I'm watching like, you know, games from like Mortal Kombat to you name it. And I'm watching it and you hear all the audio. So why aren't they getting taken down or why are they getting demonetized and things like this? So I really don't know the world of gaming when it comes to YouTube. I understand the toy side of things. I know what I can do and what I can't do when it comes to that. But when it comes to gaming, it's really tricky because there's a lot of audio going on in there. So I just got to be really careful. But we're going to do some of this on Sunday and just see how it goes. Uh, let's see, um, All Music Fan says, too bad you don't have NBA 2K14. I didn't even know they had an NBA 2K14, but uh, was it any... The last, uh, I, I'll be honest, the last basketball game that I played, and I loved it, was NBA Jam on the Sega Genesis. That game was really fun. That was back in the, like, early 90s i remember i was living in milford and i was playing that game and a friend of mine had bought the game and i used to go over his place uh on the weekends they stay the weekend and uh, that was one of the games that he had purchased and yeah we had a fun time playing that game that was awesome but i didn't realize that the 2k did the basketball games i did i honestly thought that they only did wrestling but i guess it makes sense that they do sports games right this is literally the first wrestling game I've played since the same era, right around the Sega Genesis Super Nintendo days, or the arcade days. But I was looking at, I was looking at 2K24, and it does look pretty impressive, and I'm like, oh, jeez, I should get that game, but I wouldn't be able, I don't know what, 
I can and can't stream when it comes to that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, when I did some research on that game, everybody cut out... Uh, they weren't live streaming it, but they were doing, like, all, you know, just just doing uploading videos with editing in it. And everybody edited out all the cutscenes, so I'm like, okay, that sounds risky. I don't know if I want to go down that road with that game. Okay, so NK... 2K has Michael Jordan challenges. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Slim Jim is really funny. I wanted, I want to. I wanna, there's a, there's a specific Slim Jim commercial that I want to showcase because it's funny and it's, uh, they're in like, uh, I don't know if they're in a classroom or if they're in like some music place or whatever they're doing, and, uh, in the, and the students are bored, <laughs> and then. A uh, macho man drops down from like a chandelier and crashes through the ceiling, and it's it's so funny. I'm gonna showcase that on Sunday. And I should be safe with commercials because they you see commercials all over YouTube. They're all over the place, so I don't see how there'd be any issues with that, any copyright with that stuff. But I really I'm really not sure when it comes to that stuff. But it seems like if any if there's any issues, they'll just demonetize me and they'll make me cut out a video. Or they'll just take the video down entirely. So if they do, they do. It's whatever. Uh, let's see, you play all the games uh, as I did and I have to get... I have to get his stats for that game that he had. You unlock great teams and players. That's cool. That's, that's what I like about this. I played all the way up to, like, the scenes to uh, WrestleMania 4 or 5. I, I played up to. I'm going to play some more of it uh, before Sunday. I'm actually probably going to play this Saturday because Christina's working. So uh, I'll be over there and I'll play this on Saturday while she's working. And I'll try to unlock some more stuff. And there's lots of cool, like, unlockables in it. Like, you unlock... You gotta, like, in order to unlock the next WrestleMania, you gotta, like... You have certain requirements to unlock, like, certain rings and uh, managers and things like that. So it's it's kind of fun. It can be challenging, though, because it'll be like, it'll want you to do something very specific that is to tied into that WrestleMania in real life. So it's kind of neat. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I'm kind of happy that I made the purchase. I was kind of iffy on it. But Mike had the idea because he was showing me like all the 2K games that he had. He had a bunch of them and he didn't have this one. And I researched all the 2K earlier games on PlayStation 3. And everybody said this was the one to get. Because this one has the big roster and it has like uh, the gameplay was really good. So I watched some like reviews on it and things like that. And turned out it seemed to be a good one. And I'm kind of glad I made the purchase because I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it wasn't very, it's very inexpensive. I think it was, uh, like I paid roughly maybe fifteen twenty dollars for it. It was, it was very cheap. It wasn't very expensive at all. It's pretty cool. It actually came from a local store too. Like I, I bought it online through eBay, but it happened to be the store that's in my city. So it was kind of, kind of neat how it worked out that way. I have, like, an awesome store where you can get games like this really dirt cheap. Like, I'm talking, like, 10, 20 bucks Canadian. It's very, it's a very cool store. It's a local store, and I support them, and they got me for life because you get everything so cheap in there. Yeah, really cool. So, anyway, guys, I guess that's going to be a wrap for tonight. And uh, I'm going to head out and grab some supper and do all that fun stuff. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget, Friday, we're doing the um, uh, Masters of the WWE. We're going to do Ricky's, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So we're going to be unboxing him. And i got to remember to bring my Dragon Blaster Skeletor so that we can kind of do some comparisons with it. I know the dragon belongs to the Classics line, but it'd be just kind of fun to bring Dragon Blaster Skeletor anyway, since it's kind of the same, what they're kind of running off of with the, with the figure. So it'd be kind of, kind, of, kind of cool. Yeah, I'm glad I conquered it too. It was great. It was fun. We got all the way through it. We did it in four sessions. So two, four, six, eight. So basically, the game is like seven hours long, roughly. 
if uh, you know, if, given you don't get stuck or anything like that, you could probably get through it in six and a half to seven hours. So it's 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 a long game, but was it worth the uh, what is it probably fifty dollars that it would have been back in two thousand and nine? I think the games were forty nine ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine, something like that. I don't know if that would have been worth it, but the experience of it was worth it because uh, the whole. It's a complete fan service to the Ghostbusters franchise, um, especially to the first and second film. That's completely what it is, and I think they did a great job with it. And I would love to see another one like this come out. Bring this again, but just, you know. I haven't seen the new movie yet. Uh, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to watch it. I'm just going to wait to get a good copy of it. I want to grab it and watch it and see what happens. I, I haven't gone to the theater or anything like that to see it. So uh, I've got people who are people say they got mixed feelings and stuff on it. I got no spoilers for it. I haven't watched anything other than the trailer. So I'm going to go into that movie fresh. Uh, me and Christina will be watching it together. So uh, once I get a hold of it and once I get a hold of it and watch it, I can actually talk about it. <laughs> Most of you guys have probably already seen it, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, have a good one there, uh, Largo. I appreciate you dropping in. It was awesome, just uh, chilling with uh, chilling with us, just hanging out and doing something a little different. Uh, I know it's a toy channel, but I decided that I would do some game streaming on here as long as my videos don't get taken down. Um, I'll do some more. I'll keep it going for a little while. I just got to be careful what I do. Like, I know I can't, probably can't do, like, horror games. I don't think I can do horror games because I know, like, the gore stuff, uh, I think is censored and stuff now. YouTube's getting really, they're, they're getting really strict, so. Uh, I'm, and I love, I love games like Mortal Kombat and uh, Resident Evil, and those are, like, the two games that I would love to freaking stream, but I'm afraid to do it. <laughs> so... Uh, I might avoid those two franchises, unfortunately. Yeah, same. Definitely like the old movies. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the new one though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into it with um with open with an open mind, just like I did with the the previous one that they did that. It was okay. I didn't think it was as special as people made it out to be. I thought it was okay. Uh, I liked that they brought back um, Gozer at the end. That was probably my favorite part, was they brought that character back. And uh, yeah, but other than that, I just thought it was okay. I'm one of those old bogeys where I don't like seeing the torch pass down, which I know that's the what they're doing and they need to do it in order to uh go forward with this franchise i get it i just don't like it <laughs> you know i'm in a uh, you know I'm, I'm set in my ways i don't want change you know some of us just don't like change and that's one of those things that you know i don't want change i want the original characters and that's what i want unfortunately we're never going to see rick moranis in a ghostbusters movie ever again uh you know and he's the one that i would love to see come back if any if there was any character to come back it would be him um, but yeah, it is what it is. I know they gotta pass it on to the newer crowds. I get it. Just not, you know, too excited about it. But, you know, maybe the movie will be alright. The new one, The Frozen Empire. I'll give it a chance and I'll watch it. If anything, it'll be entertaining and that's the whole point. As long as it's entertaining, I, I'll give it a pass, you know? Yep, definitely a fan of the older stuff for sure. I mean, in my brain, it... It ended with Ghostbusters 2. Like, I always thought that they're, you know, they're, what, 30 years too late making a Ghostbusters 3. This was Ghostbusters 3 to me, this video game. This was Ghostbusters 3. Uh, in my eyes. And I think it was canon at one point until the next movie came out. Because, like, people were calling it canon for the longest time. It was really well written. And it was just really well done. And the best part about it is, you know, I know those proton packs can be really heavy, and they said it time and time again in the interviews that those proton packs get heavy, especially when you get older, and 
you know, you get operations and stuff like that. It's it's hard to carry those suckers. And I remember Annie Potts saying in the new one that she was very happy that she didn't have to carry one because they suited her up. And I know she has a different uh, a different type of weapon. I don't know what it is. Something that looks like it's on her wrist or something. I don't know what it is, but uh, she didn't have to uh, carry a proton pack from what I understand. So that was the beauty part of the video game. They don't have to do that. They just got to do the voice work. That's the only thing they have to do. And that's the main thing. As long as it's entertaining, then I'll be happy with that. Uh, that'll that that'll satisfy my itch. Yeah, uh, you know, my sister's uh, sister went. She saw it, and she said she enjoyed it. And she liked it, but uh, you you got to remember, there's casual fans and there's hardcore fans. I'm more of a in between the hardcore and the casual. I, I consider myself a little bit more than a casual fan. So it's a little bit different depending on the audience that's going into this. So you're going to get different opinions out there. You know those hardcore fans, they're going to pick about something. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Casual fans probably going to really enjoy it. All right, well, I guess that's it. I've been kind of rambling on long enough. I just enjoy talking to you guys. Once I get going, it's, uh, you know, you become a chatterbox and you just keep going. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll see you guys Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely check it out. Uh, it's, you know, it's just a, our Friday nights isn't really dedicated to toys, but we start out with a toy and then it just turns out to be at the, I, I kind of like the end of, of the Friday night streams because we ended up just talking about whatever we want. Uh, we end up talking about like 80s stuff or, because I'm a big advocate of uh 80s uh, culture pop culture and stuff like that so we just kind of do that on friday nights but we usually start with the toy and that's kind of how i do things on friday night uh, me and christina and it seems to be fun and people seem to like it so that's kind of what i'm gonna do moving forward with uh or just continue forward with friday nights i'm gonna try to do as many live friday nights as i possibly can it's a lot of fun Anyway, have a good night, guys, and appreciate you guys coming in. And, yeah, so we'll see you then. So uh, I guess this is me signing off. I don't think... My, yeah, I can't bring out the puppet because I closed off the software, but uh, I guess it's just me signing off. So, anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, until next time. Thanks, guys.